all right guys uh, today uh, 15th uh, june and uh, just uh, make sure uh, you read the disclaimer and now uh, i'll start today's uh, I'll, i'm for uh, one two weeks uh, i'm just uh, uh, trying to uh, see economics and macroeconomy it seems uh, is uh, right now uh, very much uh, uh, like uh, affecting the market uh, right now and uh, the central bankers they are pouring money like anything so uh, <laughs> in this sense uh, if we say uh, what is an economist and economist is someone who doesn't know what he is talking about and make you feel it's your fault so that's how it is uh, happening right now so you may be wondering what is happening right now economist and macroeconomy all those things and how it is affecting the market so just on a lighter note i just thought and uh, if you have any comments uh, on this uh, please uh, let me know so before i start uh, this uh, uh, weekly and right now uh, just uh, I'll, I'll touch upon this uh, because uh, today i'm just uh, trying to see uh, this uh, modern uh, financial theory so uh, just uh, let me uh, it today is monday so uh, we will see economic data which is uh, which will affect the market so it seems uh, no uh, high volatility data and in fact no economic data right now is uh, moving the market and uh, pretty clear it is and uh, the tuesday we have lots of economic data but right now that is not the theme and it is very very um, like uh, predictable like uh, economic data will not affect the uh, uh, market right now these are uh, fundamentals so fundamentals are right now is good that's for uh, every country and uh, fundamental data right now coming bad and uh, uh, tomorrow we have rba meeting minutes uh, interest rate decision and uh, then maybe a uh, fed uh, mr powell uh, uh, will testify tomorrow and uh, that will be market that can be market moving so still i don't think uh, much about right now what is uh, in fact uh, market moving right now and uh, even on wednesday again uh, mr uh, mr powell testifies and uh, new zealand uh, gross gdp data right now that is uh, coming in right now all the data is coming in and that will be uh, economy will be very very subdued so that's how the market is right now and then uh us the employment uh, some uh, employment data is there and not from uh, us it will be uh, i don't remember it is from euro or and snb interest rate this is so let's see what uh, snb does boe interest rate this is also on the cards and it is again uh, this um, uh, interest rate decision so that will be uh, that, that is uh, right now uh, will be very very important let's see if uh, uh, boe and uh, boj or snb they do uh, something else than what market is thinking so as such uh, no interest rate change uh, i'm just uh, thinking like uh, still i haven't uh, read anything on these but still that cannot be market moving and more qe from uh, gpp and uh, bank of england will be there and again uh, uh, to close out the week so uh, cad retail sales and fed uh, mr fed uh, chair powell his speech will be on friday uh, june 19th so again uh, right now uh, what is moving the market and uh, we saw the sell off in uh, us stock market and that sell off right now uh, is uh, very very bad so at least snp had gone down by about uh, eight nine percent from the top it made the just last week wednesday and uh, because uh, by the situation is this this still grim and danger of second wave is uh, uh, seeing the sell off in risky assets and more uncertainty about it, economic stabilization uh, forget about uh, this economic recovery uh, first thing has to be econ economic stabilization and then only 
uh, we can see a market stabilization. So uh, still there are many uncertainties and we are not certain in uh, even in uh, forex market uh, we are not yet certain uh, what will happen. So let's uh, move to other things uh, that will that is highlight of the day and uh, uh, this is here this is economic thing and uh, uh, like um, there are two things one is uh, uh, value investing so uh, if we don't uh, talk about value investing then we are missing uh, many things so you have to understand all these things uh, if you are into uh, forex or investing or speculation also so um, modern financial um, uh, this uh, theory is uh, almost uh, opposite of uh, value investing and uh, this was uh, like uh, Benjamin Graham and uh, he was uh, known as the father of uh, value investing and what he was saying so he stressed the importance of looking at the market in the same way uh, one would regard a business partner who offers to buy you uh, out buy you or sell you his interest in a company graham referred to the other party as mr market so it is uh, what you do with the other party if you are buying something so you will go something is uh, selling for 10 uh, rupees 10 dollar so you will say no i'll buy it for uh, five uh, uh, five usd so that's what in the market also we have to see what value of any stocks is uh, giving you and uh, there is uh, less uh, like uh, margin of safety was uh, is very very important for uh, value investing which refers to practice of buying into a stocks at a price that is well below a conservative valuation of the business so his investment philosophy it's stressed uh, investor psychology minimum debt buy and hold investing fundamental analysis concentrated diversification so this uh, in, uh, this is uh, what is very very important concentrated diversification not uh, diversified fully diversified and buying with a margin of safety activist uh, investing and contrarian mindset so if you want to read uh, what all these terms means and if you are into investing this will be very very important and even in uh, forex if you uh, follow these kind of uh, principles and uh, here in uh, value investing the uh, uh, fundamentals and uh, this uh, technical analysis works now what does uh, modern uh, financial theory says so i was looking into it and this was uh, almost uh, like uh, it is not uh, very modern it is uh, still 1950s it was uh, mentioned and modern uh, portfolio theory is a theory on how risk averse uh, investor can construct portfolio to optimize or maximize expected return based on a given model given level of market risk so basically if we uh, talk about uh, modern financial or portfolio theory it is uh, don't uh, have all the acts in one basket so you have to have many eggs in one in one basket so that kind of theory is it it is don't put all your eggs in one basket so i'm it, like this is uh, compl completely opposite of uh, what the uh, value investing is so what i wanted to see uh, like um, how uh, we can explain this uh, nasdaq is the uh, uh, was uh, touching around 10000 and even nasdaq was uh, will touch around 11000 and 12000 also in this year but uh, it was not giving me any substantial anything like it is very very old um, theory and still it is called uh, modern theory so right now many other things are coming like now many other things like efficient market hypo hypothesis is there and that is almost uh, corresponding to modern financial uh, theory so don't get much into it so theoretically uh, what uh, i was uh, seeing it neither technical nor fundamental analysis can produce 
uh, disk adjusted access return consistently and only inside information can result in outside uh, uh, disk adjusted returns so that's what is uh, how uh, efficient market uh, hypothesis is uh, it says the stocks always trade at their fair value on exchanges making it impossible for investors to purchase undervalued stocks or uh, sell stocks for uh, inflated prices so this is completely opposite to what uh, value investing is and i don't agree with uh, many of the things of uh, uh, this efficient market uh, theory and uh, modern uh, this uh, uh, financial theory also although the inventor has got a nobel prize for this so i don't still understand so if you have any view on this uh, please let me know and uh, later what is next so i don't uh, i will not delve into it so uh, just uh, wanted to make it uh, very very easy so that uh, you understand uh, what is happening in the market right now and uh, the stock market as i was saying and uh, i will just uh, come to this uh, us stock market or, or what what is happening in the stock market so uh, i will say there's still us stock market uh, that uh, underlying danger right now is it is uh, below 200 day moving average i was not expecting that this just on wednesday it was uh, trading about 200 day moving average and right now if it has come down from that level so it is uh, very very bearish right now and uh, look at uh, this dow jones so how can you explain Boeing was uh, going from 95 to uh, 200 or 100 percent gain in uh, this kind of market so still uh, things are uh, not uh, that good in the economy still many bubbles are there and unless until this uh, virus situation is uh, normal we cannot see anything it is uh, just like uh, uh, 42 39 uh, this uh, world war ii so when uh, world war ii uh, started then uh, world was not knowing when this uh, world war ii will end and only after uh, this uh, Axis powers defeat in uh, uh, 1945, that is, uh, that was almost uh, six years. So, still that kind of uncertainty is there in market. So, how long, how much time it will take for uh, things to become norm normal again? And uh, in that sense, uh, right now, uh, even if uh, more money is poured into the market, more. Uh, uh, liquidity more qe a market is not gonna stabilize unless until the situation in uh, this um, uh, pandemic is uh, getting normal so uh, which is uh, again in china second wave of infection is uh, coming and uh, china Beijing is uh, closed and uh, in us also after uh, lockdown ended and right now we are seeing that uh, uh, why the situation is uh, getting out of hand again so discount is still uh, uh, europe is uh, better but still we don't know uh, when this second wave of uh, uh, this uh, infection will happen and in that sense market is, is still very very uh, shaky so right now if you see uh, from last week itself on uh, weekly if we talk about uh, risk players right now and if we talk about risk and uh, from last week it was uh, it was going to uh, this level and that was the time when it was touching it so from there uh, you can see when the market will be making a top so again if a market is again making a top and making not a, if, if this us bond is going to this level 30 year bond and uh, that time you can see okay our market is making the top so uh, just uh, that time you have to sell it or uh, right now s p uh, can be sold uh, putting a stop loss about two nine uh three zero five zero around three zero six zero around 
So I don't think it will be going above again uh, once it has uh, broken below uh, this 200-day uh, moving average. So it's still there is uh, many uncertainties in the market right now. S&P had uh, gone to around uh, 2940. It is bouncing, and uh, we will see. But don't sell uh, this uh, Nasdaq at all. So Nasdaq has uh, uh, created uh, uh, these uh, companies. So that is uh, uh, growth stocks, and uh, that's where uh, they are alpha stocks. They are generating more returns for the investor. And in this kind of scenario, uh, this uh, uh, internet uh, companies or uh, technology companies uh, will do better. So that's how we can see. And uh, Australian Japanese also, I will say, like it is. Uh, it is uh, right now giving a mixed signal. So Australian Japanese is uh, still bullish and uh, the level uh, from where we can buy is uh, 7256 and that is the level and this is right now EMA 34 is uh, right now going up. So let's see but uh, uh, this also doesn't give any clear picture right now because uh, this is OSMA is on uh, below uh, this uh, zero so this doesn't give any much much confidence so and why should be uh, this uh, gold should be going down so gold should be going up if uh, it is a uh, risk of market so it is you have to see it uh, um, like on uh, different uh, uh, asset together based on technical analysis and uh, 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 more more on that uh, fun, uh, technical analysis uh, fundamentals are not working right now and uh, value investing uh, will be uh, will not working uh, will not be working on uh, modern financial theory also you are if you can buy multiple pairs and uh, then you are betting against the dollar then that will also not work so bonds are saying if i say Again, it is uh, going to go up right now uh, on uh, Friday. It was just uh, testing this level EMA 34 and right now 10 year bond yield is at around um, 0.65. So um, Fed will not allow it to that uh, uh, yield is uh, going up above 1%. So that is for sure uh, for uh, 2000. Uh, 2020 because if uh, yield is uh, <clears throat> going up then interest rate uh, then whatever they have done that will not be useful so uh, don't uh, try to put more head into it so that is uh, like uh, economists uh, whatever they say um, it will uh, look like uh, we are fools <laughs> so I'm also not an econ economist so uh, thank god I'm not <laughs> an economist so um, more of a trader so but still I, I try to find a correlation between different different assets and uh, right now the stock market and DAX and CAC CAC is also selling off and right now you have to find the opportunity when uh, we are till where it is uh, uh, going and right now if uh, DAX has gone below 11,950 and if it is uh, closing below 11,950, but uh, 11,700, it's uh, uh, last week I was discussing 11,700 is its support. So it is uh, a lot of uncertainties in the market. We never know if uh, Australian Japan is uh, going up. So if you have to find uh, which uh, currency pair is, uh, is the safest bet. In this kind of market and uh, euro usd i would say is the safest bet at this point so last week uh, i was just establishing uh it is uh, bullish above uh, 1.1170 uh, so it's still it is uh, bullish and uh, if for the june if it is uh, closing above 130 1.13 then it can go to 1.70 so that's how it is Right now, uh, let me just uh, focus on uh, normal pairs, which I do. And uh, right now, again, 
uh, Euro Japanese for a weekly, it has to close above 121.75, but it is not. So uh, right now, 119.56 uh, is the level. So still, uh, we are not sure uh, how it will be going, but uh, on daily, for weekly, it has to close about this or this will be just trading between these two levels any levels broken and it will go in that direction so right now it is in the middle of the trend and right now uh, here uh, even if uh, it is showing so it can go till 119.49 so and uh, osma right now pointing to the uh, below zero that means uh, we are not sure about it so uh, two levels are important uh, on the top side 120 uh, 80 121 80 so if you remember after uh, Thursday's sell off it found support around 120 uh, 25 and uh, then went till 120 uh, 70 80 and from there it was sold so right now uh, you can prepare if it is uh, going up you can sell it euro Japanese GBP Japanese on weekly uh, right now, uh, I'm very disappointed with uh, DVP Japan, and uh, it should not have uh, uh, closed below this level 135.75. If it has, again, if it is uh, going to 136 below 136.30, it is uh, bearish. So you have uh, many levels uh, around uh, 136 uh, 30. So daily level also, if you can see, and uh, was establishing on four hour chart also if you see uh, on Friday I was establishing it is uh, um, bearish below 136.30 so that was uh, four hour level and uh, when I am trying for a weekly level right now it is uh, bearish below 136.30 uh, almost so uh, I don't think it will be going above uh, 136.22 uh, uh, for uh, this week it won't be closing just uh, one week it went above so the normal idea was uh, it will take support here but that uh, it didn't and uh, from the top how many webs 500 webs it has gone down right now so usd japan when it touched here this uh, 139.50 so usd japan was trading at around uh, 109.50 and uh, GBP USD was trading around 127, 128. So uh, it is uh, not a good sign for uh, GBP Japan. And I right know, but uh, weekly, it is also we on weekly. It is uh, giving a uh, different kind of signals. And I right know OSMI is pointing to the upside. So what does this mean? Uh, will it uh, again uh, crack this level? So still. Uh, it is not sure, but it's still look at how it responds around 136.22. On daily, almost it has gone below this. And OSMA is right now below zero, but uh, Euro Japan is uh, more bearish. We can see that. Yeah, on daily. Okay. Now, coming to this. Australian USD. Okay, Australian USD. And uh, last week it closed like right now. I'll, I'll just remove this. Last week it closed about this this level. Uh, 68.0.6857. But when market opened today. So uh, one week and two week it was uh, just uh, going up and suddenly on uh, this Monday uh, it has it has uh, gone below this so again the chances of it going above uh, 68.56 is uh, very very uh, like important and uh, chances of it going above is high. So just see uh, if it is closing once again 0.6860 and uh, this is also 6678 uh, is uh, its uh, 
support that is daily support but uh, EMA uh, this OSMA is on the downside so this rally was very very important and right now uh, like if, uh, for uh, two, uh, two months if you see it was going up and up and after this uh, breakout happened and it was suddenly uh, around uh, 0 0.70 so it was expected that it will just uh, uh, like uh, consolidate at current levels and I know it is doing just that but it's still it is uh, not a buy and uh, if you want to sell it just uh, you can try it putting a stop loss uh, above 0 0.6856 uh, so around uh, 35 and uh, then uh, see if it is uh, taking your uh, stop loss or not <laughs> so uh, things are very very um, shady right now uh, nothing is uh, very much clear uh, right now in Australian USD also okay now USD CAD uh, even for a week it didn't close below this level so although midweek it was uh, going down and touched around 1.33 uh, two six again uh, it is right now uh, finding bias and but OSMA was on the downside so that uh, that is almost on all the pairs on Australian USD also uh, this is on the uh, upside so BG is still it is uh, not a bearish and uh, we will see further but it's still uh, for now Australian USD has uh, found a top and uh, it will be uh, consolidating and uh, right now as uh, uh, this uh, virus situation is again concerning the market so it can uh, go back around uh, 6780 so uh, 66 6780 6780 add on it 6680 it can again go to and uh, USD CAD right now for the week it is uh, bullish above 1.36. So last week it uh, it was uh, going up but uh, it's still close below this. So let's see how it uh, goes. And uh, this uh, US session will be very very important right now. Uh, that will uh, that does uh, actually uh, give us uh, some indication uh, for uh, what to come in the market. USD CAD daily right now although it is uh, going up but EMA 89 that is almost 1.3741 so uh, it's still 100 bit more and uh, see how it is behaving and uh, if we are, you want to sell you can sell it here and putting a stop loss at least uh, 100 bit from here and then try for uh, uh, 200 bit uh, and in USD CAD, but it's still OSMA right now is uh, pointing that it is on the upside. So and uh, it is uh, not advisable. It's still if it is uh, going up, it can again the way market right now is, it can again now uh, go about this level. So um, that's what uh, I I do try uh, and uh, if uh, it is like at least on four hour chart, if it is going. Uh, they are 137 1.3740 uh, for the first time it, uh, if it it is going then at least uh, 50 pip you can expect but uh, if it is again going above that uh, so uh, that will be very very dangerous so just see how it behaves on the top side a uh, 1.3741 is the level we are watching for and I know on the downside if it, it can now go below 1.3609 so then we can sell so although on a weekly still it is on the downside so let's see where it closes but the way market has started and taking note of uh, virus development uh, so it seems um, uh, it can go up further and risk will further come under pressure USDCHF right now is here 95.43 was the level I was watching for that is 100% move and uh, then uh, Euro USD was at around 1.1225 uh, uh, 
and uh, that's what uh, I, I'm mentioning is still uh, I'm dollar uh, bearish so if you see I'll just take a look dollar index uh, so my point is if uh, the dollar index is uh, reaching around 97.10 uh, you can buy euro USD that will be the best bet and uh, euro USD CHF on weekly uh, it is uh, for uh, three four weeks it is selling so two weeks it is selling it was trying to just uh, uh, stop uh, the down move uh, just two weeks back and right now again it is going down and OSMA is on the negative side uh, USD CHF right now so that means USD CHF you cannot uh, uh, buy it and if it is reaching uh, 139 0.9543 you have to sell it uh, there is uh, that is uh, most uh, uh, the trend is uh, on the downside in dollar dollar index and uh, weekly if we see weekly well let me just remove this so it's still see here dollar index started 97.40 so still uh, it uh, went above and right now it is uh, trying to go down so will it be bullish it is it has already broken uh, 9710 uh, this level so let's see for the for the week and uh, i would expect that uh, it is uh, not going up if it is going up uh, euro usd is, uh, is still a buy um, above 112 with the stop loss below uh, 1.17 uh, uh, 170 uh, below that so that's how it is euro chf uh, very disappointed and uh, it uh, found uh, support in here uh, 1.0650 uh, how it moved to 1.09 uh, just uh, this month and uh, last week uh, of of uh, may that has started all the more and right now it is going down and again the, it is it will find support so again uh, osma is on the downside so just uh, two minutes more and if you have any questions uh, please let me know okay guys chf japani nothing so japan is again slightly trying to bounce and then uh, us 500 right now 200 day moving average 3022 and that will pose as a resistance right now and um, nothing on uh, us attack us attack is uh, still on daily if you see 93.73 bounce so it's still i wouldn't suggest uh, selling uh, us attack So just uh, some corrective is still it is uh, overbought, but it's still uh, it is uh, not doing anything. So that's all for the day, guys. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. okay guys then thank you for watching and uh, see you tomorrow uh, with the daily outlook bye bye